good morning all okay uh, in today's session we are going to discuss the uh, concept of blow molding process and uh, its brief classification okay i think in already in the previous session i have completed the basic principle which we are using in the blow molding process uh, i will just uh, take the review of that blow molding process and i will continue with its uh, brief classification in brief classification then uh, what are the um, particular advantages disadvantages of this method and its uh, applications according to its types okay uh, according to its uh, types uh, i will tell you some products manufactured by each type so we will start with this uh, blow molding process concept so i will just uh, take a, re a slight review related to this blow molding process okay now in this uh, slide you can clearly see these are the components which we are going to use in the blow molding machine basic components will be there now the first component is the uh, parison uh, parison or it is also known as the preform or uh, hot hollow uh, preform okay generally it is made from uh, heating the thermoplastic material in the tubular form or in the cylindrical form okay small tube will be there and um, uh, generally this uh, tube is prepared with the help of one extrusion operation by using a die okay here we are providing this is the molten plastic and by doing the extrusion we are uh, getting the parison okay now in the um, blow molding machine uh, sorry in the blow molding process the first step is uh, manufacturing or making of this parison or uh, preform that will be your first stage and uh, this is your first component then next component will be uh, your mold cavity okay this is your mold cavity now this mold cavity uh, here we have considered it in the two halls two halls or you can say that it is present in the two um, parts okay this is the first part and this is the second part or first half and second half of the mold okay and now whichever um, shape and size you want to in for that particular product you have to provide that in this mold cavity only now the, in this example here uh, we are manufacturing the plastic bottle okay here we are manufacturing plastic bottle that's why you can clearly see here we have given the uh, shape of the plastic bottle to that particular mold cavity then it, within this mold cavity only uh, some liners cooling liners will be there by circulating some uh, coolants like water we are cooling this die cavity okay now next part component is here important component is this is the blow pin okay this is the pin and uh, to this, uh, this air hose or you can say that this uh, air pipe we are providing the compressed air okay this compressed air is uh, required for uh, you can say that uh, inflating or blowing this parison okay so these are the basic components of this process now uh, i will explain all these points uh, whichever process and what is the meaning of blow molding uh, that i will explain with the help of uh, the diagram only okay <clears throat> now this is your uh, blow molding process diagram or you can say that this is your blow molding machine okay now here i have considered one product this is the plastic bottle this is your end product now this uh, how it is manufactured now initially you have to uh, manufacture this parison or preform okay it is nothing but uh, the just a hot hollow tube made from the thermoplastic material made from thermoplastic material by performing an extrusion operation okay this tube is parison or preform hot hollow preform is manufactured then uh, this is the your first stage then this parison we are placing it in the uh, mold cavity okay mold cavity and having uh, two parts with the uh, cooling arrangement in it okay then after placing it in the mold cavity okay these stages you can understand here this is the first manufacturing of the parison and in the next stage we are placing the parison in this mold cavity having two parts okay this is the second stage now in the third stage uh, we are going to inflate this tube okay this is the cylindrical tube now with the help of a blow pin we are going to inflate or just you have to uh, you can say that we are going to 
blow the performing one blowing operation on that tube with the help of compressed air okay compressed air will enter in that tube and <clears throat> that parison is uh, pressed due to this uh, compressed air pressure pressure will get created and it is pressed against the uh, walls of that mold cavity and that parison tube will acquire the shape of that mold cavity okay then after uh, after the uh, you have to provide some time for cooling and after that uh, cooling process you have to remove in the last stage or fourth stage you have to remove these mold uh, cavity parts and you will end up with your product but this product will be having some flashes okay extra material will be attached it may be at the top surface or it may be at the bottom surface and that extra material is termed as the flash extra material will be termed as the flash and you have to perform one finishing operation on it uh, that uh, you can say that one trimming operation is required or final finishing operation is required and you will get the desired product okay now for example here i have considered the manufacturing of the plastic bottle okay this is your plastic bottle and this will be your end product okay first we will manufacture the parison then we will uh, keep that place it in mold cavity having cooling arrangement okay this will be your stage close the cavity and this is the parison will be there and we are going to blow the compressed air in that tube then it will get inflated and pressed against this walls okay air will enter and it will press against the on that uh, walls of the mold cavity and due to that that parison will acquire the shape of that mold cavity then in the end stage you have to separate it and uh, sometimes extra material will get attached to that final product you have to perform some trimming or finishing operations so this is uh, you can say that uh, your blow molding process okay these are the steps involved in the blow molding process if you are having any difficulty you can ask me here only or you can put that in the chat box okay to uh, simply you can uh, and, uh, judge that uh, means uh, whichever plastic bottles are there for uh, which we are for drinking water then cold drinks then suppose uh, some storage uh, storage tank for that water is there or jars all these components are manufactured with the help of this blow molding only whichever hollow components are there these hollow components are generally manufactured uh, with the help of this blow molding process okay here we are going to manufacture only hollow components also for some uh, cosmetic material is there for storing that cosmetic material you can say uh, that are also manufactured with the help of this um, blow molding process only okay i will uh, go in brief related to application at the end of this session so this is the blow molding process now after this blow molding process uh, stages involved in the blow molding process so these are the stages or steps you can say that uh, then the next part uh, we will move towards the classification of the blow molding process okay now uh, whichever part or chart is there on the screen you can clearly see that this is the classification of the blow molding process okay uh, i think this much classification is also uh, sufficient okay for blow molding three types extrusion blow molding injection blow molding and stretch blow molding and uh, the further classification i have added this for your information only uh, okay uh, then i will tell you the base on which basis this classification is done first is the um, blow molding and uh, the blow molding is classified in three types extrusion blow molding injection blow molding and stretch blow molding okay uh, whichever uh, any <coughs> different steps or different concepts are used on that parison okay on that parison we are performing some initial operations to manufacture that parison or to give it uh, that parison the desired shape and size depending on that process only this blow molding is classified in three types extrusion blow molding injection blow molding and stretch blow molding one by one i will explain it in brief then 
and these uh, each process is again class further classified in two types okay in extrusion blow molding is classified in two types continuous extrusion blow molding and intermittent extrusion blow molding and on which basis this classification is done now already we have discussed that uh, the blow molding process will consist of the manufacturing of that Paris or forest turbines <clears throat> okay now on which basis this classification is done now uh, the blow molding process uh, whichever steps I have explained uh, if you summarize it in the minimum possible stages then there will be only two stages that is first stage will be manufacturing of a, or making of that preform preform or parison and the next will be the blowing okay blowing it to the desired shape and size now on which basis this further classification is done uh, depending on the uh, machines used for making the parison or machine used for performing the blowing and uh, blowing operation depending on it only if suppose uh, in the for example i will tell you the extrusion blow molding if suppose the uh, making of that parison or preform from the thermoplastic material it's making and the blowing operation is performed in a uh, single machine okay if it is performed in a single machine then it will be termed as a continuous process okay continuous extrusion blow molding and if suppose for making the parison we are using different one machine and for performing the blowing operation we are using another machine then that will be termed as intermittent extrusion blow molding process okay in the same way uh, for injection blow molding if suppose the making of parison and uh, giving it desired shape and size by blowing or inflating it if these two operations we are performing in a single machine on a single machine with the help of a single machine then it will be termed as a single stage injection blow molding and if the making of preform is done on the separate machine and its blowing or inflating operation is performed on another machine then it will be termed as two stage injection blow molding okay in the same way uh, the stretch blow molding machines are classified or processes are classified depending on the use of the machines if we are using single machine to make the uh, preform or uh, <clears throat> that parison and the blowing operation then it will be single stage or continuous and if we are using two different machines to uh, perform the uh, making of that parison and for blowing it uh, we are using another machine then that will be termed as two stage process okay and for each type single stage and two stage that particular suppose for in extrusion blow molding continuous extrusion blow molding and intermittent extrusion blow molding then for injection blow molding it will be classified as single stage injection blow molding and two stage injection blow molding and for stretch blow molding it is classified as single stage stretch uh, blow molding and two stage uh, stretch blow molding okay and then after this uh, the classification of blow molding processes now we will see one by one uh, extrusion, injection, and stage blow molding. How the exact blow molding process is conducted here. Now uh, I will first uh, go with the injection blow molding process. Okay, now. In this injection blow molding process in the first stage our first stage is uh, preparation of that uh, preform hot preform you can say that or a uh, parison means a uh, small hollow tube you have to prepare hollow tube or you can say that hollow section is prepared or one tubular section is prepared or cylindrical section is prepared that is nothing but your parison okay this is the parison now in this injection blow molding process the whichever parison we are using for the blowing operation uh, initially that is prepared by using the injection molding process okay initially we are preparing that parison 
by using injection blow molding process and this process is conducted with the help of a uh, mold cavity okay to give uh, that uh, pl available plastic material give the shape of that uh, parison or that hollow tube uh, we are using one injection mold and one injection unit will be there okay now injection mold will be there this is the injection unit having certain arrangement to apply or press that material okay it is very much similar to the injection molding process okay initially we are taking the thermoplastic material then we are plasticizing it means it will be converted from solid form to the semi solid form okay in the form of the paste thermoplastic material in the form of the paste it is taken in the injection unit and with the help of some arrangement mechanical arrangement we are applying the pressure on it okay we are applying pressure on it or you can say that it is injected in that uh, mold injection mold and it will acquire the shape of that uh, mold cavity and uh, after some time we are removing it and this parison will be formed this is our first stage for manufacturing of that parison we are using injection molding process then uh, then what will happen that parison now the remaining will be just we have to conduct the blow molding process just first stage will be different that is manufacturing of the parison is done with the help of uh, one injection unit and injection mold then after manufacturing uh, of this uh, parison that parison uh, will be placed in the blow mold okay this is the mold cavity it will be termed as a blow mold as now we are going to perform the blow molding operation okay now with the help of one air pin okay parison is manufactured and manufactured in parison will be placed in that mold cavity then <clears throat> after placing it in the mold cavity uh, the inflating operation will be performed or blowing operation through one opening okay there is one opening through this and that air compressed air will be allowed to uh, flow in that parison okay and it will perform the blowing or inflation of that <clears throat> it will just inflate that tube or parison and due to that compressed air uh, that tube material will be uh, pressed against the mold cavity okay and it will take the shape of that mold cavity okay here we are going to manufacture the bottle that's why shape of a bottle is given then after pressing or that blowing operation uh, we are removing the mold okay mold parts will be removed and uh, if necessary some trimming and machining operations will be performed to remove that flash okay extra material if extra any kind of extra material is attached to that final product it is removed by trimming or machining operation and we will end up with our final product okay here uh, two types of the molds in, in total process for first in the making of that parison or preform uh, injection molding we have to perform okay injection molding process with the help of an injection unit and injection mold then after that uh, the blow molding will be performed with the help of this blow mold okay so this is the injection blow molding process okay <clears throat> if you are having any query you can put that in the chat box now uh, please uh, enter your attendance or uh, your roll numbers in the chat box okay and those who will enter roll number now only i will consider it for attendance okay Having any query in this uh, injection blow molding process, then please put the questions in the chat box. Or if uh, I'm not able to read it, uh, then you can ask uh, directly by unmuting yourself. Okay. If you are having any doubt, please unmute yourself and ask the questions. If you are not asking any question, then I will uh, consider that you have understood all parts, and I will move towards the next point.
okay then uh, we will move towards the next blow molding process this is the extrusion blow molding process okay uh, these remaining only first stage will be different okay only initial stages will be different in each type of blow molding process initial stage will be different the remaining stages okay remaining stages means that blowing operation with the help of uh, compressed air and uh, removing that uh, mold cavities and taking your part final uh, product and performing some trimming or finishing operations it will remain same okay for uh, all three processes okay here also same will process will be there just initial operations will be different okay i will explain it one by one okay now we will move towards the extrusion blow molding process now in this extrusion blow molding process the first stage will be manufacturing of our preparation of that uh, preform from the thermoplastic material uh, means it will be a little bit hotter okay it is having some uh, higher temperature that will be termed as hot preform or a parison it is prepared generally it, uh, we are using here only thermoplastic materials okay you have to remember that this blow molding operation we are performing on the thermoplastic materials only get okay, thermoplastic materials as we are provide it is uh, we are providing some heat and after that we are giving it shape okay uh, means uh, it will be very simple to write in the applications you can write that uh, for thermoplastic material different thermoplastic materials you can take into consideration okay like polypropylene you can take then pet material okay i will explain it in the um, applications now uh, so here the steps generally these steps will be there in the extrusion blow molding on the first stage from diagram itself uh, you can write it the first stage is making of the parison now here simply that uh, parison will be manufactured uh, with by performing one <coughs> extrusion molding process operation or simply one extrusion operation will be there and through that extrusion operation okay on the thermoplastic material uh, we are providing the heat so that it will get transformed in the for means in the semi solid state or in the form of paste and after that we are uh, extruding extru uh, we are performing one extrusion operation so it will come out with the from a die okay when die will be there and at the end of the die we will end up with the okay this will be uh, extruder used then we are heating the thermoplastic material then after converting it into the paste it will be extruded with the help of uh, one extruder from the uh, die cavity provided uh, and the, that die cavity will be having desired shape means tubular shape and we will get the one tubular form component that is nothing but our parison uh, parison or uh, hot hollow preform okay then this is the first operation by performing extrusion we are manufacturing that parison and that parison will be placed in the okay mold cavity mold cavity there we are placing uh, placing that parison this mold cavity will be having two parts and the shape of the, the final product is provided here in this mold cavity then this mold cavity is closed mold cavity is closed placing and closing of this mold cavity this will be the second stage then with the help of the uh, one pin that will be termed as the air pin uh, we are going to perform pass the compressed air and that compressed air will perform the inflating of the tube okay inflation inflating of the tube will be performed or blowing operation will be performed here with the help of this compressed air then due to this blowing what will happen that parison or hot hollow preform that material will be pressed against the mold cavity walls of that mold cavity and it will acquire the desired shape and size okay and after the cooling uh, we have to remove that uh, mold cavity parts and we will end up with our final product okay this is our final product and if necessary uh, we have to perform some 
फिनिशिंग और ट्रिमिंग ऑपरेशन सो दिस आर दिस स्टेप्स इन दी एक्सट्रूजन ब्लो मोल्डिंग प्रोसेस दिस इज दी एक्सट्रूजन ब्लो मोल्डिंग प्रोसेस आई विल वेट फॉर फ्यू मिनट्स हियर प्लीज ड्रॉ दी डायग्राम एट लीस्ट वन डायग्राम यू हैव टू ड्रॉ रिमेनिंग स्टेजेस विल बी सेम ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम आई विल वेट फॉर फ्यू मिनट्स हियर It is uh, while drawing the diagram. You have to uh, remember, try to remember it. These three uh, stages will be same. Okay, just initial stage will be different. One initial stage or uh, one or few steps will be different. Last three stages, that is, placing that paraffin in the mold cavity, then blowing the compressed air, removing the mold cavity, and your final product by performing some trimming and machining operation. these process will remain same in all types of this blow molding process only initial stage will be different making of that paraffin will be different in the in, uh, injection blow molding we are making that paraffin with the by performing injection molding process then in extrusion blow molding that paraffin is manufactured with the help of extrusion operation or extrusion molding process Okay, with the help of an extruder and a die die opening or die. Okay, then we will move towards the third type. Okay, this is the third type. Now. Uh, please draw the diagram here uh, just a little bit changes are there in this uh, last type okay last stages will be same okay <clears throat> placing in the a mold cavity then a uh, blowing then uh, removing the mold or opening of that mold and the final obtaining final product by some finishing operations it uh, will be same initial part will be different here okay <clears throat> please draw this diagram i will explain it Okay. Ah, uh, now we will move towards this uh, stretch blow molding process. Now here, ah, uh, the little bit difference in the means whichever stretching when stretching operation is performed on that preform or on on that paraffin by using some mechanical arrangement. Okay. Then how it will be uh, done? We will see one by one more as per the stages. In the first stage, okay. Uh, we are taking that preform okay initially we are taking that preform or paraffin and we are doing the heating okay here preheating 
is performed and after doing this preheating okay now here we are taking the parison and that parison it can be manufactured with the help of injection molding process or extrusion molding process okay you can use any method here and just uh, the stretching operation is done in uh, remaining two processes what we are doing just we are making that preform and we are blowing the compressed air in it now before blowing the compressed air here we are performing some stretching operations with the help of some mechanical arrangement that's why it is termed as stretch blow molding process okay initially we, we are making one preform or parison and preheating is then on that preform or parison then <clears throat> that preform or parison is placed in the mold cavity okay it is placed in the mold cavity now uh, with the help of one stretcher okay with the help of one stretcher or by with the help of one mechanical arrangement or one mechanism okay initially uh, what we are doing we are just increasing the length of the parison okay we are increasing the length of the parison okay here you can see initially we are using increasing the length and after that with the help of a small amount of by blowing small amount of compressed air uh, just we are increasing its uh, diameter okay in small amount initially we are increasing the diameter okay this is termed as stretch blowing stretch blowing molding process why it is termed as, uh, as stretch blowing or a stretch blow molding process initially we are taking that parison in the preheated form and after that initially we are uh, stretching it lengthwise and after that we are stretching it uh, with the small compressed air small amount of compressed air we are stretching its diameter and after that we are performing the uh, final blowing operation okay blowing operation will be uh, considered here in two stages the first one will be termed as pre blowing and the last one will be termed as final blowing okay in the initially we are doing the stretching lengthwise stretching will be performed that will be your first stage in the second stage its diameter will be stretched uh, by blowing the compressed air in small amount that will be termed as pre blowing okay here the stretching and pre blowing is shown in the same diagram stretching is done uh, by in the uh, lengthwise or longitudinal way okay its length will be increased and after that the pre blowing will be done with the help of small amount of compressed air and in the next stage final blowing will be done okay uh, large amount of the compressed air will allow to flow in it and what will happen that pre form material will get pressed against the mold cavity or walls of the mold cavity and then after sufficient blowing or inflating it uh, we are uh, removing the mold cavity here okay this mold cavity is available in some parts that will be removed and if any kind of extra material is attached to that final product it may be termed as a flash and that will be removed by performing trimming operation okay and at the end you will end up with your final product this is the stretch blow molding process okay i will repeat it again in short way the preform is taken and it is heated then that heated preform is placed in the mold cavity okay then that mold cavity is closed then the stretching and pre blowing operation is performed stretching is done by using some mechanical arrangement in longitudinal way and its uh, diameter is also increased by one pre blowing operation pre blowing means uh, we are uh, allowing compressed air in small amount or small quantity its diameter will get increased that is termed as pre blowing and in the next stage final blowing operation will be performed here large amount of compressed air will allow to enter in that uh, pre form so that it will that uh, compressed air will press that pre form material against the mold cavity walls of mold cavity and in the next stage that the mold will be opened and final product is obtained by performing some trimming or some finishing operations okay this is your final operation so this is the uh, 
stretch blow molding process okay here we are performing some stretching and uh, stretching will be performed by using some mechanical arrangements instead of using the compress layer some mechanical arrangements will be used okay and after that pre blowing will be done or you can say that blowing will be performed in two stages pre blowing and final blowing okay in this way uh, and in the remaining stages just the blow molding process is followed and final component is obtained okay so this is the stage blow molding process <clears throat> okay in this way we have discussed this uh three types of the blow molding process injection blow molding process extrusion blow molding process and stretch blow molding process okay so after understanding this uh, all three types now um, we will move towards some okay now initially i will explain some advantages and disadvantages of this process and after that we will move towards the last point that is the applications of blow molding process so here i, I have highlighted in this uh, one slide what are the advantages of this blow molding process okay uh, some advantages and some disadvantages are also there now in the advantages here whichever tooling cost is there okay whichever tooling cost or setup cost is there is very less as compared to the other processes its uh, tooling and setup cost is very less then the production rate is fast okay you can manufacture uh, manufacturing of components can be done in faster rate then you can manufacture the components with different shapes and sizes means it is providing the flexibility for design then the scrap generated will be in lesser amount and another uh, the advantage of this process is whichever wastage material is there as we are using the thermoplastic material we can do the uh, recycling means you can give the shape again and again okay the molding can be performed or reshaping can be performed as we are using this process for thermoplastic materials you can do the recycling of a scrap is little and the whichever scrap is there that also can be recycled and whichever uh, component actual product is there after certain use you can do the recycling of that component also for example you can say that whichever water bottles are there or cold plastic uh, cold drink bottles are there okay that can be collected and it can be recycled from that you can manufacture other components also okay we can perform the molding operation again and again okay as thermoplastic material is there molding can be performed again and again okay recycling you can the plastic bottles are recycled okay you are aware of these things okay uh, then uh, the uh, hollow parts large sized hollow parts can be manufactured now this manufacturing of the hollow parts you can consider it as advantage and disadvantage also okay for Uh, the advantage will be manufacturing of the large hollow parts and what is the disadvantage uh, advantage in this uh, only you can manufacture hollow parts by this blow molding process you can you will not be able to manufacture the solid part or solid component with the help of this blow molding okay this is the disadvantage only hollow parts can be manufactured as we are using the blowing operation we are blowing the air only hollow parts can be manufactured then some kind of defects may be there okay some kinds of defects like uh, i have already told you that flash extra material may be there okay the extra material may remain there that will be termed as flash then for removing that you have to perform some finishing operations okay or some other kinds of defects may be there okay then uh, yes the last disadvantage is uh you cannot manufacture the components having higher thickness okay or large thickness components cannot be manufactured so these are the disadvantages what are the disadvantages only hollow components are manufactured some kinds of defect like flash may be there and uh, large thick uh, large sized or you can say that the components having large thickness cannot be manufactured here 
okay so these are certain advantages and disadvantages of blow molding process now we will move towards the application part okay <coughs> sorry so now before uh, going for actual applications now i will explain the few material name of the materials which we are using here generally uh, you have to consider that uh, here we are using this blow molding operation only on thermoplastic materials means you can write uh, add a point here that thermoplastic materials and uh, if you are able to remember any name like pvc okay this is pvc pet pvc means polyvinyl chloride then pet polyethylene terephthalate okay and then pp that is polypropylene then ldp and hdp high density polyethylene and low density polyethylene okay now this high density polyethylene it is used for manufacturing of some toys then cases different kinds of the drums then low uh, low density polyethylene material that is used in the manufacturing of some flexible bottles okay uh, then polypropylene then the high temperature bottles that bottles can sustain at high temperature also then pvc polyvinyl chloride okay and the pet polyethylene terephthalate which have now uh, i will explain this pet i have collected some extra images okay in short these hdp ldp materials in polypropylene pvc polyvinyl chloride and pet polyethylene terephthalate okay these materials are used in this uh, blow molding process now applications i have highlighted here by collecting some images okay so these are applications of blow molding process by using this blow molding process different storage tanks okay here i am moving the cursor different storage tank storing the water okay for storing of the water these different storage tanks can be used then plastic bottles okay now these plastic bottles may be used for storing the uh, water uh, then it may be used for storing that uh, your cold drinks soft drinks okay or your soda bottles all these are manufactured with the help of this blow molding then whichever jars that plastic jars you are using okay these jars are manufactured with the help of blow molding okay whichever hollow components are there you can uh, write that here the different kinds of jars okay this is the jar then these are the tanks used for storing the chemicals okay different kinds of chemicals can be stored chemicals or different kinds of the fuels uh, like petrol diesel can be carried in these tanks then different kinds of toys okay, these are different kinds of the toys and it will be hollow in nature okay this will be hollow then these are the uh, tubes or some bottles used for storing the cosmetics okay cosmetics uh, whichever that uh, creams and all these things are there okay that will be termed as the uh, your face wash and some beauty creams are there uh, for storing that or uh, some bottle is needed that cosmetic bottles will be manufactured with the help of this blow molding process only now what i will do as according to the types i will uh, separate it whichever applications i have shown in this slide according to the process as we have learned the three types of blow molding process for each type i have separated the applications okay now for stretch blow molding process pharmacy p uh, pet bottles okay this is a very uh, important application of this pet material okay pet means polyethylene terephthalate okay this is polyethylene terephthalate now whichever uh, pharmacy bottles are there for storing <clears throat> your um, medicines or some capsules okay medicines we are storing here medicines that all pharmacy bottles are manufactured by using pet material and all that are manufactured by performing stretch blow molding operation or process then whichever storage tanks are there storage tanks then capsule bottles are there in which we are storing the capsules in different storage tanks okay and then whichever the cleaning liquids we are storing that cleaning liquids here 
okay uh, that all these the storage tanks then capsule bottles all these will be manufactured with the help of extrusion blow molding process okay now in the last is the injection blow molding process okay whichever toys then cosmetic uh, for uh, that cosmetic bottles are there uh then there are different kinds of jars different kinds of toys okay different kinds of toys then again different kinds of this uh, storage small storage tanks all these will be manufactured with the help of injection blow molding process now while writing the applications there will be little uh, uh, difference while using the types now whenever you want to manufacture a component or a part having weight less than 350 gram okay if the uh, here you can see that these tanks can be manufactured with the help of injection blow molding process as well as you can manufacture these tanks or bottles with the help of extrusion blow molding process when the weight of this component is more than 350 gram we are using extrusion blow molding process okay when weight of this manufactured suppose this is the tank if weight is more than 350 gram then we are going to use the extrusion blow molding process and if weight is less than 350 gram then we are going to use the injection blow molding process okay and uh, these all cosmetic uh, bottles will be manufactured with the help of injection blow molding process only okay so these are the applications process type wise that is applications of stretch blow molding then extrusion blow molding process and applications of the injection blow molding process okay in this way uh, we have i will summarize this today's session okay what we have learned initially uh, we have started with the blow molding process concept of blow molding process components uh, involved in this blow molding operation or process different components then how this actual process is conducted steps involved in the blow molding process making of parison then placing making of parison or making the parison ready with a, or you can say that hot hollow preform is there then placing it in the mold cavity and closing that cavity then inflating the parison with the help of compressed air that is nothing but your blowing operation then removing the mold cavity and performing some finishing operations to get the final product and after this we have discussed the classic brief classification of blow molding process uh for example extrusion blow molding injection blow molding stretch blow molding and these each process will further classified depending on the machines used for making the parison and doing the blowing operation at single stage two stage or continuous and intermittent process okay and after that we have seen the stages involved in manufacturing of a component by using injection blow molding process extrusion blow molding process and stretch blow molding process and we have seen the advantages this advantages of this process and uh, these are the applications okay applicate some materials which uh, generally we are using polyvinyl chloride then polyethylene terephthalate polypropylene high density polyethylene is termed as hdp and low density polyethylene okay so these are the applications like storage tanks plastic bottles then water storage tanks or jars and small jars chemical storage tanks toys cosmetic bottles and by type wise we have seen some applications for stretch blow molding process pharmacy pet bottles and then by extrusion blow molding process we can manufacture different storage tanks and capsule bottles the storage tanks generally for by using extrusion blow molding process we are manufacturing the components generally it is preferred when it is weight is more than 350 g and if weight is less than 350 g the same components can be manufactured with the help of injection blow molding process okay these are some applications of injection blow molding process like cosmetic packaging jars different kinds of toys then some tank uh, you can say that storage tanks or bottles can be manufactured Okay, in this way, we have completed this blow molding process along with its concept, and types, advantages, disadvantages, and 
uh, applications if you are having any doubt you can ask me question here okay you can unmute yourself and ask questions uh if those anybody is remaining to put your attendance you can insert it in the chat box okay please enter your attendance and uh, i will close the session you can leave the session now thank you for attending this session i will stop here thank you very much